Oh, and put lettuce on the list. Lettuce. Okay, so far we need eggs, frozen orange juice, cheese slices, peanut butter, English muffins, and lettuce. And hamburger. And hamburger. Canned tuna. Canned tuna. A mink coat. A mink coat. <laughs> oh, that's sneaky. Well, it's not as sneaky as what some girls do for a mink coat. <laughs> hey, Dad! How many times have I told you not to play with that in here? I hope I didn't put you in a bad mood. No. Why? I'd like to have a talk about my allowance. What about your allowance? Well, with the cost of living going up, I sure need a raise, especially since I'm saving for a bike. Oh, and what about my allowance? I'm saving for a mink. <laughs> Dad, mine's cheaper. <laughs> Jamie, what makes you think the cost of living is going up? I mean, the government says inflation is down to only 4% this year. Who are you gonna believe? Your own son or the Secretary of the Treasury? <laughs> I give it some serious thought, Jamie. Mm -hmm. Here, Vicky, put these in the wastebasket. In the wastebasket. <laughs> you want to play a little one-on-one -on -one basketball with me, Dad? Oh, sorry, honey. Your father's playing some one-on-one -on -one with me at the grocery store. Let's get going, Ted. Okay. Well, then can I teach Vicky to play? I suppose so, Jamie. Just. Don't leave her alone out there. Yeah, and be careful about Harriet next door and her parents. I mean, they're curious enough about Vicky as it is. No problem. Follow me, Vicky. Follow you. Hold it. <laughs> what did I just say about playing with that in here? Sorry, Dad. Bad habits are hard to break. <laughs> well, if you don't break that bad habit before you break something in the house, I'm just liable to break something over your rear end. <laughs> His rear end gets the message. <laughs> now, you got all that, Vicky? And the idea is to put the ball in that hoop up there. In that hoop up there? Some guy seven feet tall get paid a million dollars just to do that. That computes out to $11,904.76 an inch. <laughs> Then maybe one day I can slam dunk. Slam dunk, that word's not in my memory bank. Well, that means that you dribble the ball like this, and then you jump way up in the air and slam the ball through the basket. Got it? Got it. <laughs> Holy cow, I don't believe it. You're a short, white Magic Johnson. <laughs> Now, if I could do that, I'd be the first player ever to go to the pros right from grammar school. <laughs> Hi, Jamie. Hi, Vicky. Hi, Harriet. Hi, Harriet. <laughs> this is my cousin, Norman. Hi. Hi. You want to play a little one-on-one? -on -one? With whom? With me. Are you kidding, Shrimp? I'd wipe you up. <laughs> Who are you calling a shrimp? You. If you were a fish, I'd throw you back. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah! Yeah. <laughs> well, since you feel that way, how about playing a little one-on-one -on -one with my cousin Vicky? With a girl? He's crazy. He's definitely lost his marbles. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got a dollar that says she can beat you, Norman. You're just flapping your gums, right? No, I mean it. Here's my dollar. Easiest dollar I ever made. You're on, sucker. Harriet can hold the money. It's okay with me. <laughs> I'll even let her go first. Here, kid, take your best shot. <laughs> Wait a minute. What kind of trick is that? That's no trick. I miss short, white Magic Johnson. <laughs> Thanks for the dollar, turkey. Hey, that's not fair. How'd she do that? Uh, long arms? <laughs> uh, long arms? <laughs> I still think it's his trick. The least you can do is give him a chance to win his dollar back. Yeah, give me a chance. Only, we'll play something else this time. How about high jumping? <laughs> <laughs> he must think I'm stupid. Don't be offended, Norman. Everybody does. 
Well, I got this new electronic space game in the house. You want to play that? Now you're talking. Here's my dollar. You're on. Let's go. Hey, don't do that in here. Do what? His father said not to play ball in the house. His dad's a little hard nose. <laughs> Playing. I'm just bouncing it. Come on, Norman, give me the ball. Okay, okay, don't bust the gut. <laughs> oh, no! Now look at what you've done. It's your fault. You should have caught the ball. Come on, Norman. It's almost lunchtime, and it doesn't look like Clumsy here is going to feed us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See you, Butterfingers. <laughs> that Norman's a real jerk. A real jerk. <laughs> <laughs> look at this. My dad's gonna kill me when he finds out. You're supposed to be smart. Stick my problem in your computer and see what comes out. I will evaluate the problem. Well, what's the answer? Your dad's going to kill you when he finds out. <laughs> if this works, dad'll never find out. Dad'll never find out. Keep your fingers crossed. <laughs> Put him down, Vicky. Last month, I broke my mom's antique lamp, and I never got caught. I was lucky. Lucky? Yeah, because after I glued the pieces back together, the angel on the lamp was pigeon-toed and cross-eyed. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't like lying to my parents, but I like child abuse even less. <laughs> Lying is not in my memory bank. Oh, that's right. A robot wouldn't know about that. Well, you see, there are big lies and little lies, good lies and bad lies, and harmless little white lies. Little white lies? Yeah, they're called white because you don't end up black and blue where you're usually pink. <laughs> black and blue where you're usually pink. <laughs> now, this is our secret, Vicky. You don't know anything about my gluing this teapot together. Got it? Got it. <laughs> Boy, this is strong stuff. Practically glued my fingers together. Hey, it'd work great on Harriet's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> on Harriet's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> That looks good. Mm, that looks good. <laughs> what are you doing, Vicky? Oh, I taught her to do that. I feel so guilty when we're eating and she just stands there and watches us. Honey, you have to stop thinking of her as a child. Robots don't eat. Yeah, she goop up her all inside. <laughs> You know she can't eat, and I know she can't eat, but does she know she can't eat? I goop up my whole insides. <laughs> you see, honey, there's no point in whispering. Her hearing sensors can pick up two ants fighting over a bagel crumb. <laughs> Vicky, you can stop eating. You're all filled up. I'm all filled up. Boy, she'd make a cheap date. <laughs> Honey, would you like some coffee? Oh, please. Oh, don't, I forgot to put coffee on the shopping list. Uh, would you mind tea for a change? No, not at all. Okay. Tea? You don't want tea? Why not? Uh, tea's not good for you. It makes your teeth fall out. <laughs> Where'd you hear a crazy thing like that? From some kid without teeth? <laughs> I'll take a chance if you will, honey. Okay, if you promise you'll still love me when I'm toothless. All right, Palmer. Oh. Come here, kiss right? yeah. I still say you're making a mistake. There's a lot of caffeine in tea, and it makes you nervous. Oh, really? Yeah, I get nervous just looking at that teapot. <laughs> well, we'll risk it just this once. Oh, were you able to teach uh, Vicky to play one-on-one? -on -one? Yes, I can slam dunk. Slam dunk? I'm a short, white, Magic Johnson. This I've got to see. Great idea. Let's all go out and watch your slam dunk now. Jamie, sit down, finish your lunch. We'll do it later. 
Yes, sir. <coughs> Am I imagining things, or is that teapot leaking? You're imagining things. <laughs> it sure is leaking, honey. It sure is leaking, honey. <laughs> I can't understand it. I just bought it. <laughs> it's actually falling apart. Well, no wonder. This thing was glued together. They sure don't make teapots like they used to. I have a feeling this teapot became defective after it was sold. What do you know about this, Jamie? Me? What do you know about this, Vicky? I don't know anything about Jamie gluing the teapot or his fingers together. I don't suppose it was hit by a basketball by any chance. Well, you could say by any chance. <laughs> now, what has your father told you about playing ball in the house? I wasn't. Now, I admit that I glued it together, but it was Harriet's cousin who broke it. Harriet's cousin? A kid named Norman, right, Vicky? A kid named Norman. I am surprised at you, Jamie, trying to put the blame on some innocent kid next door. Well, if you don't believe me, ask him. I'll just do that. He'll just do that. <laughs> Brendel, Brendel, Brendel. I, I put it under P for pissed. <laughs> Here it is. Hello, Harriet. This is Mr. Lawson next door. Do you or your cousin Norman know anything about a broken teapot over here? I see. Thank you, Harriet. Well, what did she tell you? The truth. Yeah, you know something? That Harriet's a sweet little kid. She said they don't know anything about a broken teapot. That sweet little kid's lying. <laughs> Go to your room, Jamie. Go to your room and stay there. We'll talk about this later. Yes, sir. If I'm lying, may I be hit by lightning on this very spot? Stand back, honey. <laughs> See? I'll say one thing for him. He's got guts. Jamie, I think we just solved the mystery of my lamp with the cross-eyed angel. And the pigeon toads. <laughs> now, one broken thing at a time. Can I at least take my dessert with me? I promise I won't enjoy it. <laughs> well, all right. Ah, here you go. Thanks, Mom. Okay. And I'm telling you, I'm not lying about the teapot. There are big lies and little lies, good lies and bad lies, and harmless little white lies, so you don't end up black and blue where you're usually pink. <laughs> Knock it off, Vicky, all right? Knock it off. Oh. <laughs> All right, you go to your room, too. I don't have a room, but I'll go to my cabinet. Thank you. <laughs> well, it was just an inexpensive teapot. Joan, that's not the point. He has to learn that he can't get away with these things. This time, he has to be punished. Well, I suppose you're right. Well, what do you suggest? Um, send him to bed without his dinner? That won't work. Why not? I'd sneak food into him. Me too. No point in him having two meals in bed and none in here. Well, whatever punishment we decide on, we have to go through with it. No giving in, no matter how pitiful he looks. Right, on one condition. What's that? That you stop looking so pitiful. Come here, Vicky. Do you realize how much trouble I'm in? On a disaster scale of 1 to 10, I'm a 12. That doesn't compute. On a scale of 1 to 10, there's no 12. There is now. My only hope is that my parents will be soft-hearted when I remind them that my birthday's coming up. When is your birthday? Seven months from now. <laughs> oh, I hope I make it to my next birthday. Jamie, your mother and I have decided on your punishment. Before you tell me what it is, can I say something? What? He helps to make it to his next birthday. <laughs> well, that sounds like a reasonable enough request. I'd just like you and Mom to keep in mind all the good things I've done for you in the short but loving time I've been with you. <laughs> Such as? Well, there's a time I, I, uh, uh, the other time, uh, no. Well, remember when I stopped wetting my bed? 
<laughs> no, but I sure remember when you started. <laughs> hey, I know. How about the time I cleaned up the garage without even being asked? Two days before Christmas. <laughs> Well, how about the way I cleaned up my room last week? Well, you had to so you could find your bed. <laughs> you really know how to hurt a guy. We sure do. For the next two weeks, you are coming home from school, you are going straight to your room. There will be no television, no basketball in the backyard, and no allowance. No allowance? Does that affect the raise you were going to give me? <laughs> Let me put it to you this way. If you were older, you could declare bankruptcy. <laughs> Why don't you just line me up against a wall, blindfold me, and then shoot me? Well, because you might ask for a last cigarette, and we don't want you smoking. <laughs> but, gee whiz, I... Not another word, Jamie. But, Dad... I do not want to hear one word out of you. Got it? Got it. What's the word? Be quiet. <laughs> That's two words. <laughs> Television, no basketball, no allowance. Doesn't pay to be a kid these days. <laughs> I'll show them. I won't eat. People who don't eat starve to death. <laughs> okay, I won't eat between meals. <laughs> There's got to be a way I can talk my folks out of this. Your dad said he doesn't want to hear one word out of you. Yeah, I know. Hey, wait a minute. He didn't say anything about a word out of you. You're a tape recorder, right? Right. Well, your tape recorder is going to talk for me. Turn it on, Vicky, and take a letter to my dad. I am recording. Good. What do you want, Harriet? They really stuck it to you, huh? Jamie, I'd be happy to tell your old man the truth that I broke the pot. It only cost you $10. Ten dollars? That's not nice, Norman. He's in terrible trouble. Do it for only five dollars. <laughs> okay, I'm all heart. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't have five dollars, Norman, but I have something else. What's that? Would you like some pie? Sure would, as a down payment. You got it. <laughs> Okay, let's get back to my letter, Vicky. You can proceed. I have been recording. You mean you taped everything that was just said? I did. Holy cow, do you know what this means? It's going to be a long letter. <laughs> you think we were too hard on Jamie? I was wondering the same thing. It's not fair. He's the one who did it. Why do we feel guilty? Maybe we feel better if we stopped watching television for two weeks and you stopped my allowance. <laughs> Mom, Dad! I thought I told you to stay in your room. Yeah, I know, but please, Dad, you gotta hear this. Okay, Vicky, play back what you recorded. What's the matter? I am rewinding. <laughs> I'm warning you, Jamie, if this is a trick. No, honest, Dad. Ready, Vicky? Ready, this is a recording. What do you want, Harriet? They really stuck it to you, huh? <laughs> Jamie, I'd be happy to tell your old man the truth that I broke the pot. It only cost you ten dollars. Ten dollars? That's not nice, Norman. He's in terrible trouble. Do it for only five dollars. Okay, I'm all heart. Stop, Vicky. See? I was telling you the truth. Yes, this time. But if you hadn't broken that lamp in the past and lied about gluing that pot together and I hadn't warned you so many times, we might have believed you. Lying only leads to more trouble, Jamie. Yeah, I can see that. I was a real dummy, all right. I'm so glad you invented Vicky, Dad, and that you're a genius. It's not necessary. You're off the hook. I'd sure be lost without you, Vicky. That's not necessary. You're off the hook. <laughs> So
Small wonder brings love out. 